वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज पैकेजिंग डेवलपमेंट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आंसर इज फार्मास्यूटिकल पैकेजिंग डेवलपमेंट इन्वॉल्व क्रिएटिंग इम्प्रूव पैकेजिंग सोल्यूशन दैट मीट द प्रिसाइज नीड ऑफ मेडिकेशन इंश्योरिंग कंप्लायस विथ रेगुलेटरी स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड ऑप्टिमल प्रोटेक्शन फॉर द प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज रोल ऑफ पैकेजिंग डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट हेयर आर दी थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट रोल्स ऑफ पैकेजिंग डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट फर्स्ट रोल इंश्योरिंग सेफ्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी दैट इज टू डेवलप पैकेजिंग सोल्यूशन टू प्रोटेक्ट फार्मास्यूटिकल्स फ्रॉम कंटेमिनेशन एंड टेम्परिंग सेकेंड रोल इज रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस दैट इज टू एंश्योर पैकेजिंग मीट्स स्ट्रिक्ट एफ डी ए और ई एम एस स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी एंड सेफ्टी थर्ड रोल इज इम्प्रूविंग यूजर एक्सपीरियंस दैट इज टू क्रिएट यूजर फ्रेंडली डिजाइंस फॉर ईजी डिस्पेंसिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एनहांसिंग ओवरऑल यूजर सेटिस्फेक्शन What are the key factors to consider when selecting packaging material for pharmaceutical products? Here are the three factors that should be considered while selecting packaging materials. First, safety and stability. Packaging should not react with or contaminate the product, ensuring its integrity and stability. Second point, regulatory compliance. Materials must meet strict FDA or EMA standards to maintain product safety and quality. Third key factor is functionality and compatibility. packaging should protect against damage light and moisture while being compatible with the product's formulation for easy use and administration this one is basic and important question question is what are the three types of packaging in pharmaceutical industry first type primary packaging this is the immediate packaging that comes into direct contact with the pharmaceutical product examples includes blister packs bottles vials and ampoules second type secondary packaging secondary packaging is the outer packaging that holds the primary packaging together examples includes cardboard boxes cartons and shrink wrap third type is tertiary or transit packaging tertiary packaging is used for bulk transportation and handling of multiple units of secondary or primary packaging examples are pallets shipping crates and containers what are robert sans 2005 attributes for packaging functions in pharmaceutical industry the four important primary functions of packaging are containment protection convenience and communication what is role of packaging r&d in pharmaceutical industry the packaging r&d center works on making product packaging look good and easy to use they research way to make product stand out and develop packaging that is user friendly the goal is to enhance the brand's image and make it easier for consumers or customers to understand the product how do we assess the compatibility of packaging materials with specific drug formulations to prevent interactions or degradation here are the five ways to assess the compatibility of packaging materials with specific drug formulations these are first accelerated stability testing second leachables and extractable analysis third barrier property evaluation fourth compatibility studies and fifth regulatory compliance can you explain the principles of child resistant packaging and its importance in the pharmaceutical industry answer is very simple child resistant packaging provides mechanisms that are challenging for children to open but accessible to adults in the pharmaceutical industry it prevents accidental ingestion of medications by children enhancing household safety what is tamper resistant packaging tamper resistant packaging is designed to determine unauthorized access to pharmaceutical products by incorporating features that make it evident if the package has been tampered with or opened what is 3d painting in pharmaceutical development 3D painting in packaging development uses softwares to create virtual prototypes allowing designers to visualize and refine packaging concepts digitally before production. What approvals are required for innovations in pharmaceutical packaging development? Approvals for innovations in packaging development typically involves regulatory bodies such as FDA that is Food and Drug Administration in the United States and EMA that is European Medicines Agency in Europe and other relevant agencies in different countries 
what are the courses available for packaging development here is the list of five important courses for packaging development first diploma in packaging technology second btech or be in packaging technology third mtech or me in packaging technology fourth short term certification courses and fifth online courses and training programs what are the some challenges faced by the packaging development department in pharmaceutical industry first challenge regulatory compliance that is meeting strict rules set by the authorities like fda and ema second challenge product protection that is keeping drugs safe from light moisture and temperature changes third challenge innovation and sustainability developing eco friendly solutions that meet both regulatory and customer demands why who annex 9 is important in pharmaceutical packaging who annex 9 outlines the principles and guidelines for pharmaceutical packaging and labeling the annex covers various aspects of packaging and labeling including design materials stability storage conditions and information required on product labels compliance with annex 9 is essential for pharmaceutical manufacturers to meet international quality standards and facilitate the safe and effective use of medications worldwide what are the recent technologies and trends in pharmaceutical packaging development following are the five important recent technologies and trends in packaging development of pharma industry first smart packaging second sustainable packaging third anti counterfeiting features fourth child resistant packaging and fifth personalized packaging last and important question which guidelines are important for packaging development in pharmaceutical industry following are the five guidelines that are important for packaging development in pharma industry first who annex 9 second usp general chapter number 659 third ich q1a r2 fourth FDA's guidance for industry and fifth ISO double one six zero seven. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.